It's only human. Everyone feels a little bit awkward sometimes. In fact, sometimes it feels like awkwardness is an epidemic because the feeling can arise from so many different situations. Just ask Twitter, what's awkward? Anything from when your voice cracks in front of the whole school, to spitting your gum out in the middle of a conversation, to crossing the street, to consciously working towards gender diversity. Man, that is awkward. And even worse, there seems to be no known cure, perhaps until now. Researchers at MIT's Media Lab are testing what's called a RoboCoach. The software called My Automated Conversation Coach, or Mock, consists of this computer-generated face that simulates real-life, everyday conversations. Hi, I am Mary. I'm looking forward to doing your interview. Which is obviously not exactly like having a conversation with an actual face-to-face -face human, but what this RoboCoach does is provide the user with social feedback that most actual humans would hesitate to give to an acquaintance. Using a webcam to monitor both your facial cues and your speech, the RoboCoach can analyze your smiles, your level of eye contact, your speech volume, and patterns like using filler words like um. It can then assess and give feedback on all those non-verbal cues that can speak volumes in a social setting, maybe even more so than the content of your speech itself. Does that sound a bit, dare I say, awkward? Well, whatever it is, it appears to be working. In a corresponding lab study, students who had received training from the mock RoboCoach performed better in simulated job interviews than those who did not. The software is designed to run on regular laptops, and the creator, M. Asan Hoke, says it can be used to provide feedback on interactions of all kinds. And on a more serious note, social challenges do affect a lot of people. The prevalence of autism diagnoses, for example, has increased in recent years to about 1 in 50 kids. And of course, no one is immune to the A word. Awkward that is, so could you see this helping? Let me know what you think in the comments. For TFN, this is Annie. And for more on how cutting edge robotics could be integrated into our lives, check out my report from this year's Global Future 2045 Congress where I saw some androids you have to see to believe.